die. Don't look behind you. Stay calm and collect because I'm going to put you in the garden to eat. But you got to trust him in that. It might look like it tore all up, but it ain't tore up. He's fixing it up. Come on. So stop looking what? Behind you. Don't, don't look behind you no more. Don't look to the left. Stay right. Come on. That's what he's saying to you today. Don't look behind her. Lock wide. Look behind her. Right. Instead of going on, she look behind. The very thing that God destroyed the city with, he destroyed her with it. She turned into a pillar of salt. I don't want you no salt. Come on. Don't get so caught up in the cares of this world that you become a pillar of salt. The world has got caught up in so much stuff that they turn into a pillar of salt. Trust the creator that created you more than what you can put your hand in and see. I'm going to use, my, I, use me as an example. I've got a cell phone, but I don't talk it all the time. I don't talk. Especially when that mom on my job or something. Boys, I'm somewhere up there from the house. I don't depend on stuff. So much stuff. I, I just Mommy. want to thank you, Lord. God want to get his people not to depend on so much stuff. Depend more on him no. than stuff. Right. See, that's what we're wrong with lock them. They were depending on stuff. So when you depend so on stuff, you turn into a pillar of salt. Some of them, they, they started doing this. When it break down, what you do? Come on, now, be honest. What we do? We get upset. Let the, let the, you can't pay that be. Some of you see your man folks on the man. He's trying to tell us, stop looking behind you. Trust him. Amen. Amen. Thank you. My God. That's behind me. He said, next week he's talking about looking back. Don't look back. He said, behind is behind you doing like this. And when you're looking back, you're going like this. You're going back to it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you think you walking forward, but after you doing this, yeah, walking back. <laughs> I know you say, oh, what you mean by walking like that? Your face ain't turned that way, you turned like this. <laughs> oh my God, I like it. Y'all don't want to hear this. I know how many I have next time. <laughs> <laughs> they get light on me when I just teach them too much. Amen? Instead of walking forward, you act grass and walking back. Will you repeat the opposite? What you do? So are you walking? Praise the Lord. Ain't God good? Call that dick out. Amen. God don't want you to look behind. He wants you to keep walking forward. Or walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Thank God for that. Amen. That is good. Amen. That bless me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Now we're going to get ready. We're going to take up our time and the offer. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Amen.
know, I praise God, don't forget to use uh, prayer at six and Bible study at seven. Amen. So if y'all stay encouraged, amen. amen. Don't look behind you. Amen. Don't don't turn your left ear to everything. Stay looking towards the right. And this is what is happening to us. We are hearing the wrong thing. Amen. We need to say to what God says. If he says something, do what he says. Amen. Don't tell him no law. So this is the way it's happening. We're telling God no and we he's bringing a lot of stuff and it seems like it's bad. But actually, he's breaking stuff off. And we don't want to go through the breaking off lane. And the year y'all saw a lot just left that he didn't never leave. He left, never left yes. Solomon and Gamal. Yes. And see, this is what I'm saying. When you believe in something like that, amen, with the attitude you have, that means you're still in the midst of it. But if you stay in something, I'm, well, I'm not saying stay in something, girl. If you got, I'm, I'm going another way with it. If you got a problem, I don't care what it is. If you put God in, like God to handle the problem, not you have it. Because you never left the problem. Oh, my God. Lena, you just standing on the side of it. The problem is still there, but if you stay in it and let him finish, the problem is solved. He will solve. Then you have a God to feed. This is what happened to us, Will. We never let God handle the problem. If he tells you to cut it, cut it. If he don't tell you to cut it, go on through till he tell you something different. I hope I'm making sense. Some of them I'm so unhappy. Yeah, you're unhappy because you studied time to solve it. If he put you in the fire, he meant for you to stay in there. Don't just jump in there. Who got you? Y'all jump out there. <laughs> And the fire still went. We told me to jump out of stuff. God, running away. And then, oh my God. We do. We need to stop running. Stop facing. It's just what it is. So we can get things solved. God can see you, people can see you prosper. I don't know where I'm going to be, but I'm going to go there. We're going home. People can see you prosper. Moving forward. And they will come here. And say something, do something, tear it up. Because they don't want you long enough, enough to know that you'll believe a lie before you believe the truth. Amen. You'll believe a person before you believe the God. Amen. Come on now. We tear your stuff up. Nice, God is saying, listen to me. Give it to me. If I separate it from you, then you won't be bothered that no more. I got a God to eat you. Yeah. This is what he's saying. Grab hold of that. Y'all is coming too far and prospering too much to let somebody or anything come in to just try to tear it up. That's what I'm saying. I saw yesterday how God just moved and we, I mean everybody flow, the spirit just flowed. We was on one mind, one accord, and one spirit. And the spirit just, shh. and he, he was so strong that it was all in the yard. Come on. See, this is what I'm saying. That we was in our garden to eat. I'm trying to get you to see in your household. 
Don't let somebody come in your household and disturb your God enough. Because tooth and tongue are going to fall out. But you never know, throw your tongue, let them out. Right. <laughs> come on. You bite your tongue and say, oh, did it fight, did it leave? Why are you going to let your stuff leave your hand? Anything I'm going to do, I'm going to go around. If I'm not, if I'm not out of marriage, me and my husband fall out. You know what I'm going to do? If I'm married with him, I'm going to go around the house, come right back in the front door, and I'm sitting at home. Right. I ain't leaving, man. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs>
the prayers of the righteous bail as much, and through the prayer, we have Amen. That's a proud for sound like you good stuff. Amen. 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 That they could walk in their blessing. Yeah. Amen. That is so beautiful. Amen. 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 Amen